Happy Sunday, everybody. It is the fourth day of February as we continue to move through this month. Today, I'm just going to be reading from the first reading from our Mass as well as from the Gospel as well. And our first reading comes from the Old Testament book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Is not man's life on earth a drudgery? Are not his days those of hirelings? He is a slave who longs for the shade, a hireling who waits for his wages. So I have been assigned months of misery, and troubled nights have been allotted me. If it, if in bed I say, when shall I rise? Then the night drags on. I am filled with restlessness until the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. Remember that my life is like the wind. I shall not see happiness again. Turning to our gospel, Mark chapter 1, verse 29 and forward. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. And the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone's looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. And for this purpose have I come. So he went into the synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. Well, our gospel today picks up where last Sunday's gospel left off, where Jesus went to the village of Capernaum. He taught there in the synagogue. He then commanded an unclean spirit to depart from a man. So now we hear that Jesus has gone to his friend's home, where he performs another extraordinary feat, namely curing Simon's mother-in-law of her fever. After sharing a meal prepared by her, Jesus spends the night curing many other sick people and driving out more demons. The next day, he can barely get a moment to pray in peace and silence before Simon arrives to warn him that everyone is looking for him. The word has gotten out that Jesus can do marvelous things. In our fast-paced world today, perhaps we're able to emphasize what Jesus' hectic schedule as someone new to Capernaum, it would help to have a person like Simon to guide him around. We know that it is Jesus who will guide Simon and all of us on the path to the heavenly kingdom. Despite the forks in the road that we may encounter or the many obstacles that might block our path, we know that when we put our lives in Jesus' hands, he will show us God's mercy and compassion. There may be times in our own lives when we feel like Job, who in our first reading bemoaned that life is a drudgery. He makes his life sound like one that is without hope, full of misery and too many restless nights. If life is full of peaks and valleys, then Job is most certainly experiencing the depths of the valley. Poor Job, though, should take heart that we must always praise the Lord because he does heal the brokenhearted. God created each and every one of us. He knows each of us by name and continues to bless each of our lives. That very same God would not allow any of us to remain in despair. And as you well probably know, the story of Job, all things do come out better at the end. But when we face valleys in our lives, we can take solace in the Lord who lifts us up. Jesus was sent to give witness that God does indeed care for each of us. As he ascended into heaven, Jesus promised that he would send his spirit to be with us as a comforter and a sustainer. That same Holy Spirit inspires our lives with God's goodness. So let's take a few moments today to pause and to give thanks to God for lifting us up out of whatever troubles us and for always offering us his grace to help us through it. It's Sunday. Hopefully it's a good day of rest for you, time, a little prayer time, family time, and hopefully you got to church as well. 
and we start this new week together as well as we continue to move through this month of february and we're inching ever closer to lent as well that's uh it's not this week but next week so but in the meantime let's keep praying for one another god's blessings be with you take care <laughs>